Basil Rasloff and the Dark Animus 2024 info. Okay, the creature that you see there on the thumbnail, he's the purple creature, he's Zob Zobla, Z O B L E R, the Morpholoid. He the creature is the he's a morpholoid. And he exists in the animistic realm where animus is from. In the DC comic from the 1990s, Anima, which ran for, was 18 issues or something like that? Okay. 15 issues it ran for, and there was a zero issue as well. So 16 issues all up. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's the amount of issues it's got. I, I've collected it. I've read the first about eight issues or something like that. I never finished it all, but um, it's one of my favorites, though, anyway. I'll finish it all eventually. But Animus is a, a powerful sort of spiritual creature which helps Anima, Courtney Mason Anima. And that's the Animus. It's a comic. You buy the comics, read the comics if you're curious. But in DC Noah, I created a, a character called the Dark Animus, who was, a, who was a, a power like Anima, but like the Animus from Anima, but he's a darker version. He's a darker power. And he hangs around Basil Razloff. Now, Basil Razloff is a very minor character who was a, a villain, not a supervillain, but a villain who appears in Supergirl number one. The first volume of Supergirl number one from the 1970s, 1972, I think it is, he's a minor character in the, the story who's a, a, a bit of a villain. And it's the same character um, in DC Noah, he's the same character. He developed uh, animistic powers and things like that. So um, this and the, the Dark Animus, he, Basil Razloff has the ability to summon the Dark Animus, who sort of serves his crooked purposes. Now, Zobla is a creature from the animistic realm who has animistic energy and animistic power. And he hangs around the Dark Animus. He's a bit of a morpholoid, so he morphs his shape somewhat. It stays mostly about the same, though. He's a purple sort of orangutan ape sort of villain sort of creature. And he has adventures with the Dark Animus in the Animus realm and Animus as well. So Zoblis, that, that's this, this is the creature, Zoblis. He's, he's probably dim-witted he's probably slow he he speaks he's probably got a dumb sense of humor but um he fights a bit and he has animistic energy and power so he's, he's sort of like he's an he's an anima creature putting it bluntly and he lives in the animistic realm and in basil rasloff you would probably find Generally, for the story, the idea with Basil Razloff is the, the, the anima realm, the, the realm of spirit, the anima, animistic realm, is developed somewhat in the Basil Razloff stories. So that's that character and creature there is Zobla. Uh, 